Hello, 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 everyone. Kim from KNRP here in southeastern Manitoba. It is currently minus 7 degrees Celsius, but it feels like minus 14 with the wind chill factor, which means in Fahrenheit it's 19, but feels like 7 degrees Fahrenheit. At least you guys are still in the pluses. We have a new gentleman joining us today, Clint Hedges. Welcome, welcome to my channel. So today what I'd like to do is these little origami um book corner bookmarks the reason i figured this today would be a good thing i want to use up these book pages i have so many book pages that i need to use up i figured this would be something quick simple i could stockpile a bunch that i have read you know ready to decorate how and when i want hi and welcome hon nice to see you did you have a good christmas Hey, Jan, welcome. Nice to see you guys. Okay, so we're making these corner bookmarks today. And we're doing them on book pages. Surprise! Because I got book pages to use up, right? So I ripped out a stack of book pages cut out. Oh, good. You were spoiled rotten? Excellent. 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 So we've got our book page. I have a book page. I don't know if you're playing along or not. All's good. If you are, you are. If you aren't, you aren't. I guess you could use origami paper, Jan. Um, I just don't know how big it would be when it's done. So we're going to make a square. I'm just going to fold it up. I'm going to put my glasses on so I can see what I'm doing. Okay, so we've got a square. I am just going to tear this piece off because it's just going to be easier than using scissors. If your book page is very thin and brittle, I, I don't know. This, this is a very thin book page. It's not that brittle, though. Sharp but great. Nice. So we have our square and it was folded kitty corner because I don't have pre-cut squares and I'm doing book page, you know, you know the way I roll guys. So then we're going to fold this piece up to the corner line, one, one corner to the center line. So we're gonna fold it up this way. Then we're gonna take this point and fold it to that point. Finger press it down hard or use a bone folder, whatever you've got. So now we've got it folded up to that point. We're just going to take it and fold it down over the first one that we did. And tuck it in like that. Now we're going to take the second one and do it in reverse. We're going to fold it up to the point and then tuck that one in. it in, press it down, and we have a little corner bookmark, guys. Fast, simple, easy peasy, decorated. Won't that be cute peeking out of a journal? Throw some lace on it or ears and put a face on it or do a floral thing where the flowers are sticking up above. Or take a page tab and add a page tab to it, like one of the kittens or something. So we're going to make a few of these today, and then we're going to do some decorating. I'm not going to do it with this one because I think that would be way small. This actually, from the book page, I should have measured it when I cut it. But if you put a 20 on the back, it fits beautifully. Absolutely beautifully. That gives it that little bit extra stability, right? So that when you're tucking it, and of course, I would decorate this side and just leave a twinchy or something on the back. So that's kind of what I got planned for today because it's a lazy kind of day after Christmas, I'm thinking. 
So we're going to fold that up. Tear it, cut it. Throw some paper on your paper trimmer. Cut a whack load of squares at a time. I'll tell you how big this is right away. It is a four inch square. So I don't know if a three inch square would work. Would this be a three inch square? I don't know. Let's try. let's let's just do it. You know, let's just do it. Because we can. You know the way I roll. Okay, this didn't tear as nice as I wanted it to. It's okay. We don't sweat the little stuff like that. I will just use that as the one to fold in so it's kind of disguised, if you know what I mean. Fold it up to the center. Fold it up. Do your corners. I'm envisioning it with lace. Well, I guess it would be this corner. Lace around the corner so that you've got like an L-shaped piece tucked up in the book. Oh, look, this is a nice little one. Okay, so you can do it. Oh, I didn't measure it. Guys, I'm not measuring. Look, but that's cute little one. As I say, I'm just mask making today. I'm going to do it again. And I'm using the natural corners from the book to be folding with so that at least you know you've got one proper straight edge. Are any of you lovelies playing along today? Or are you just kind of relaxing? Not doing much. Okay, so this is a, okay, three and almost three quarters. So I think a three inch would be way small. Right. Maybe if I put it on a page page, you could get a better idea of, let's just grab a partially done journal here. You know, I should have... 50 of them sitting on my desk beside me, but I actually put them away. Okay, let's just grab this one. You get the resin table fixed up. I think it would be cute out of magazine pages too. So if you've got it on your journal and you've got it, it's not too bad heavy wise. I guess it'll depend on how we decorate them in the end. If you look on Pinterest, they've got lots of them. They've, they've put like little teeth and monster faces on. Some they turn into rabbits. You know. I guess it's a kid's project. Sorry, guys. I know we aren't children. But the thing is, they're fast. They're simple. You can decorate them with lots of bling and make them absolutely stunning. And... There you have it. Clint posted some um, a picture on Meet Your Creativity of the resin work he's been doing. Oh, that's nice. That'll be awesome, and I'd love to see it. Does she realize how much work you put into that? I'm sure she does. Ugh. You were nervous to give it to her? And then we'll fold that one over. Look, look. They just go fast. They just go fast. I'm glad she liked it, Anne. That's awesome. Oh, yeah. Well, definitely. 
That was a big labor of love, that one. All right, so I'm going to just do a couple more. I'll use a, two more pages. Two more pages, Kim. Only two. I'm trying to get through all these book pages, guys. Awesome. And no, you don't. You only glue on the gunk afterwards. Gunk, junk, bits. Uh, the lovelies, the bling, the whatever you're decorating it with. Hey, Sherry, welcome, hon. Hope you had a good Christmas. No, these just all kind of tuck in tight. No glue. No glue. I mean, this side's a little bulky, but it's okay. Kwanzaa. Merry Kwanzaa, definitely. Well, we're going to move these book pages right off to the side. And I'm going to do these. And then we're going to decide how we want to embellish these. Like I say, I figured it would be just a nice, fast, little mask make that we could do. Sitting watching TV, right? Oh, yeah, embellishments and stuff. I love embellishments, too. Well, okay. <laughs> embellishments are a lot of fun as long as they're pre-made and I don't have to make them while I'm working on a journal so don't forget I next Sunday I am doing the streamathon that Miriam and Raul, Raul have put together. So I will be on at 1 o'clock Eastern, which is 12 o'clock Central. And I'm on for two hours. And I have something completely different to play with for that. And then starting January 2nd, we're going to be doing the tutorial Tuesdays or the, I don't necessarily think they're tutorials. They're just going to be ideas and thoughts. I don't know. What are we going to call it? Hey, Jean. Welcome, hon. Merry Christmas. Happy, like, Kwanzaa. Season's greetings. Okay, so I've got four more cut into squares. Let's fold them up into the bookmarks. Does anybody need me to go slow again and show how it's done again? I'm just kind of zooming here and we're making corner bookmarks today, Sherry and Jean. Origami out of book pages. Surprise! Because we don't have any of those kicking around. So you have a square. Okay, I will go slow. You have your square. So because this is the torn edge and it's kind of raggedy. See? It's a little frayed. I'm going to use that as the the one I tuck up. So you take the one the bottom corner, fold it to the center to the center line. <laughs> you don't have any? Oh no, would you like me to send you some, Jean? I was supposed to send you some. Okay. 
I will send you some. <laughs> so you fold the bottom corner to the center. You fold this up. You take this point and you fold it to this point. <laughs> okay, so you've got that folded up. Can you, is it right? It's folded up and over that one that we did. Now we're going to take this and we're going to fold it down over and tuck it in. So you've got it like that. Banner embellishments too? All right. Okay, so now we're going to do the other side. We're going to take that one, fold it up to the, that center point. And I'm not overly worried about this being all closed up. I'm going to be putting stuff on it. Flowers or lace or maybe even a, I don't know what. Yeah. Oh, I do lots of stuff out of book pages. I had uh, a paperback. See, our local thrift store, um, a lot of times they don't take the paperbacks because they get so many of the same ones, especially if it's a newer book or a really old book. Okay, to the center, to the center to the center. Up. Am I going too fast, Jan? Yeah. Are you using origami paper? Or are you going, are you using book page? I'm just using book page because I've got so much of it. I've got lots of everything though, don't I? Do you know what would be kind of cool? I bet your brayer off pages, like when you've got your brayer offs. Oh, yeah. Those would be lovely. You make banners a lot? That's good. I don't normally make banners. Okay, so how did it turn out with the origami paper? Is it really small? Because, I mean, sometimes we make smaller journals, so we don't, we want smaller things for them, right? I'm just looking forward to having a whole bunch embellished grab-and-goes. We do love our grab-and-goes. Clint, are you in the U.S.? Okay. Okay. Oh, full origami page now? Is that like a four inch square that you, you're using? Four inch square, three inch square? What? what? <laughs> oh, that one has a little bit of a bump at this corner. I can just tuck that in tight. Fold it down. I think these are cute though, you know? They, you can decorate them a multitude of ways. Make one and send it to them. Because it would fold up nice, right? What a, you know, just a surprise idea, especially for grandkids for birthdays and stuff. Let's you know you're thinking about them. Always had theme birthdays. Nice. All I did for my kids' birthdays really were let them choose what they wanted to for a meal and I would cook whatever they wanted. Do 
we have do I have enough to decorate today? As I said, I'm just gonna take twinchies and I'm gonna glue them down onto the I will, okay, they won't fit on the smaller ones, but they will fit on the bigger ones. I'm gonna put a twinchy on the back of each one and take it from there. Grab the twinchy bin. It's a fun one. What fun ones? Some of these are cardstock, so it's going to be a little bit heavy. That's okay. I don't know how many I've got. One, two, four, so that one. So how did I end up with five big ones and four little ones what happened to the other little piece of page i guess i used it for something else no nope. yep i only have four little ones that's fine i just confused myself okay just looking for another fun twitchy that i can put on the back that one You'll choice with your mom's thing too. Okay. Friend birthday parties? Yes. Oh, five and seven eight square? Okay. That would be a decent size. And if you're using a fancy paper like that, you don't have to do all this kind of embellishing. You could just leave it as it is. True, Jen? Okay. Yeah, I think cardstock might be a little heavy to do the folded part of it. But, you know, for on the back, I think that would be okay. It just gives it that bit of stability. So, glue. Glue. Okay, so if I use painty papers or... Well, I can't use painty papers because the backs of my painty papers are pretty ugly. And we're going to get some clothespins to hold that together. The clothespins are missing. Where are my clothespins on, and why aren't they hung up where they belong? So then, Jan, that's a real bonus doing it out of origami paper. I guess double-sided um, scrap pages would work as well. Oh, this is a piece of cardstock with stuff glued on it. That's going to be really heavy. It's okay. Yep. Just gluing. Just a little bit of Elmer's white glue. Three inch square now. It's folded. That's a lovely size. Especially if you don't have to add anything to it. Yeah, good way to use up ugly scrap of paper. Oh, I've got all that Christmas scrapbook paper that we all know I'm not going to use for Christmas stuff. I should chop that up into squares. Okay. <laughs> you have no idea how it appeared there. You're going to shop in my craft room? 
Yeah, my craft room has stuff. It definitely has stuff. I really like that. This one. I'm almost sad that I chopped that up. It's pretty vibrant. More clothespins. I'm just doing this to try and hold the corners down so that it works. You know, you know, guys, you know. <laughs> oh, Jen, um, TJ thinks he may be able to get some strapping from work to make some more yes men. So as soon as he checks it out and lets me know, I will let you know. Sherry, I'm going to have to come and pick you up one day to come out and play. Just going to have to do that, you know? One more clothespin. Then I can... Yeah, isn't that true, Anne? Oh, it's crazy how they multiply. Especially with scrap papers. I I have so much scrap paper. Although, I was flipping through YouTube. You know, how you, you know, surf and, and find things to... Uh, there's a lady that just did a 55-foot snippet roll. 55 feet worth of snippet roll using up her scraps. And she still has bins of scraps. So when we do our snippet roll, she used primarily paper. That's the one thing that we haven't decided on is if we're going to do fabric snippets or if we're doing paper or a combination. Start here. Let me move. Oh, for sure. Gene, exactly. It's almost like it throws a hissy fit. Okay, so this one has a 20 on the back. disguises it pretty good. From the screen view, I'm only missing heads for people. Who? Me? Heads for people? Hey, Malia. Nice to see you, hon. I hope you had a lovely Christmas. We are making origami folded paper corner bookmarks. Oh, they look like people. I get it. I get it. All's good. A little slow on the uptake today. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Malia, I got a notification that you were doing a live, and so I flipped to your channel, and I was 17 minutes late. My notifications are coming in pretty darn slow. 
pretty darn annoying, I tell you. Okay, so we've got the large ones. And I don't have anything on the backs of the small ones because I will have to um, do something for them. Just put my clothespins away. They are erratic. I could, I could have them like, um, oh, yeah. Whoops. Didn't like that. Yeah, the ones that I saw, they had like rabbit ears and then little rabbit faces painted on them. And then they had the big buck teeth sticking out the bottom. Nice, Malia. Are you feeling better? Are your girls feeling better? Yeah, just a starving spot. He's slowly but surely. Oh, that's good. That is good. It's been a long haul for you. Very long haul for you. All right. Paper clips are put away where they live. So the big ones. Now, I don't know what I want to do with the little ones. You know what would be kind of cute? Is if I used... Let's see what this looks like. What do you look like? If I took a circle two inch circle that could be kind of cute disguises the back sticks out the sides a little bit so then I would have to use something heavier so it doesn't get damaged oh no Malia or Sherry Yes, the new system does need a vacation. Okay, so that's not going to work the way I anticipated. Um, maybe I won't decorate the backs of these. I'm sure I've got in my scrap paper bin little bits of painty papers or something I could use. All right. So, now what are we going to do to these? I thought maybe some lace. And just do it so that it's up out the corners. Because the way they go on books, those of you who may have missed it, is they just sit on the corner of the page, right? Up at the corner of a page, like this. So you can have stuff sticking out here or at the top. And I guess if you want to use it as a corner bookmark at the bottom, you could use it as a tuck. But then you, I wouldn't want to have any... Oh, let's hold it at the bottom so that you guys can see what the heck I'm talking about. Okay. So then you could use it as a tuck. But I wouldn't have stuff decorating the bottom because then the book won't sit right. So it would have to be on this side. Right? So I'm thinking this has a bit of a scalp edge. Maybe I should just use small lace. Like bands of lace instead of a sheet. Or fiber or... I just want something so that when it's visible, you can see both sides and it's not going to swear at you. You know what I mean? Do this. Fold it. This. Do a right angle fold and across that way. So that lace definitely has a front and a back. And that's not going to look so great. Do that with that one. 
Oh, you know what would be kind of cool, too, is if you just, come on. I've got my bag of fiber stuff that I'm pulling from here. I've got this black cord with, like, a metallic thread through it. Even if I just run that along the edge, that's a very nice finish to the edge. Yeah. Definitely hang beads from it. Because if it's on the corner and if it's on a cover, could definitely have some dangly beads hanging down. Oh, I like that. I could... Washi tape? I don't have washi tape. I've got my homemade stuff. Let's drag the bin over. Let's drag the bin over and see what I've got. Buried. It's way buried. Because I was cleaning, so everything's buried, guys. Oh, there my... Oops. Something fell down the other side. So this is yellow and green. So if I used... This one kind of picks up the lime green, not necessarily the yellow, but I like it. I like it. I think I'll use one of those. You're so smart, Jean. So, I don't know that I'm going to go all the way around. I am going to go on this side. So I'm going to trim that. And I'm going to put glue down along the edge. I do love you. <gasps> Tassels for sure. So just gluing down along the edge. down the homemade washi. I will trim the sides after. And now I'm just going to put a really thin, thin, thin bead along this edge. So the washi tape will be sticking out from Probably should have folded beforehand, right? You know? That probably would have been a really good idea. And I mean, this would probably be the finishing touch, right? So it sticks out a little bit, like a tab. And the reason I didn't go too far on this side is because of the points. And I, you know, you want it to slide on. I don't always write down ideas. And then I start doing something like, oh, yeah, somebody did something like this. You know, you guys all know how I operate. <laughs> okay, so we're going to do this one. And I'm just going to go over the other washi tape because I want that corner to be a little bit firmer. And it's kind of cool because the green matches nicely on that side. And I didn't cut it. Oi. And again, this side, I'm only going to put a very thin, very thin glue along. It's getting stuck to it.
Oh, perfect, Sherry. Little thin, thin, thin thing of glue. Like that. See? Like that. I'm going to fold this over so that. Just wanted it to catch the corner. I can always trim that if I have to. You know what? Let's turn that off. Off. Oh, dark. And we're not focusing. Come on, camera, focus, focus, focus. You're not focusing. There we go. Oh, I moved. Sorry, guys. So I'm going to trim the edges now. Yes, yes. So they've got ears, right? And, and yeah. Yeah. Kind of where I got the idea from. I wanted to do corner bookmarks because I wanted to use up book pages. So that's trimmed. I'm going to turn that big overhead light on because I feel like I'm sitting in the dark. Yeah, so I want to use up book pages. I want to have stuff mass made so that we can just grab and go in the new year. While we're doing all those things listed that we want to try. Okay. Are we focusing? Not really. There we go. It's focusing. So that's the front. Yeah. My funky monsters. I was thinking of those too. Because the ones I saw, like it was a rabbit. It had rabbit ears sticking out from the corner. And then it had the face. And then it had the buck teeth sticking down at the bottom. Hey, Brenda, welcome. Merry Christmas. We're doing corner marks. And this is the front. And I, I was just, you know, playing. Just playing. Not quite sure how I want to... Uh, Decorate. So I'm thinking, of course, I'm going to put a big flower on here. Does that surprise anyone? I'm looking for my bin of flowers. Pull up the bin. I might not have anything as big as I'm hoping. Oh, wait. Why am I looking in this bin? Let's get the box, guys. Let's get the box. Box of bits. Flowers. That one's in greens and yellows. I think this might be too big. But let's test it. Let's test it out. Oi, where am I going to put this? Uh, just there. So it would stick up a little bit over. And it's not like I cut two the same. Like I didn't... When I do these flowers, I don't fold them. I actually cut them individually. But if I do this, so it's just over the lip, and just over that lip, what do you think? Anyone? You love it? All right. Let's glue the flower down. 
And then I would consider this complete. I wouldn't add anything else to it. I'm just doing the inside, not the petals, because the petals stick out a little bit. I'm going to have to wash my mat. I don't have anything to protect it today. So let's stick that on. <laughs> that journal. Stick. Stick. We'll put the box under here. Get this journal back. I just kind of figure that I would like something to, if I've got a corner sheet on so that you can see it from the front. That's cute. That's cute. And then that's the back. So that when you look at the journal from the back, you just see a little bit of the petals. A corner corsage, yeah. Well, thanks, Brenda. Um, Jan did hers out of origami paper. I'm using book page because, you know, that's what I do. And she said, you don't have to decorate them. So now I want to grab a piece of this Christmas card stock that I've got over here beside me. Or Christmas scrapbook paper. And I'm going to tear off. I'm going to tear. I don't know how big this is. I'm going to use my cutter. I'm just going to turn around and use my cutter. And Jen, you said yours were five inches. I'm going to try five inch because those ones that I pulled out of the book page. I'm just going to cut five inch square. Just so that we can see what it looks like using scrapbook paper. Okay, so I have a five inch square. I just chopped up a piece of scrapbook paper, four and five eighths. <laughs> it's just uh, single sided. It's a thicker paper. It's not as heavy as a cardstock. And it's not as thin as a copy paper. Okay. So, you fold the square kitty corner. Then you fold the bottom corner up to the middle line. You fold up. And then you take this corner and you fold it to that point. I think I would ink the edges because of the white. And then you tuck it down over. That. No glue. Just tuck it in good. Now we do the same thing on the other side. Corner, to the corner, to the corner. And you tuck that one in. And fold it down tight. There's a bone folder if you've got it. A pair of scissors if you don't. Got a little. So that is cute. That can, you know, you use scrapbook paper. You could just use it as it is without any decor. Unless you want something sticking up, you know. And the nice thing using paper like this or book page is it's not overly heavy because you know how sometimes we have pages that are really flimsy, like copy paper. I'm just looking for a, 
thinner piece of I think I've stiffened all these up. Remember, we were discussing how about heavy papers and not so heavy papers. Those are all stiffened up. Let's just grab a piece of this. Stick it on. And a lot of times when you're turning a page, you get this action happening, right? So that's why I stiffen up my edges with borders and stuff at the corners. But, I mean, even with just the uh, scrapbook paper, if you're just using something like a copy paper or a loose leaf, it is heavy. But it still looks good, right? And two, you know, if you're gentle and, and you've got it on your paper and you're turning the page, it will turn nice. So that was a five inch square and it gives us a two and a half inch. So whatever size square you have, it's going to give you half the size when you do it. Hey, Raul, welcome. Merry Christmas. Did you have a good Christmas? I was looking at all the food you were preparing. That's a lot of nibbly food. So we've got one that I'm not going to bother decorating. I've got that one decorated. These have, I've put 20s on the back, so it gives it a little bit more stability. But again, it's going to make it heavier for when you, <laughs> you drank too much lemonade with beer. You drink lemonade with beer? My mom used to drink ginger ale with beer. And it was like a ginger beer. Never had lemonade and beer. I don't drink beer, so that would explain it. Okay, let's pull out the bits box, see what else we've got that we can add to these to decorate with. We have flowers. Looking for little things. How about these? Just a little. Those would work. Something simple like that. That works. Doesn't have enough color for me. Leaves. Okay. Do you know what would be really cute? Okay. Yeah, Shandy. That's right. It's my, they call their Yorkshire Terrier Shandy. I remember that. I have to do dragonflies on thicker paper. But wouldn't a dragonfly look cute sticking out the top of or the side of a book page? Like that. Sorry, you guys can't see. Something like that out the corner of a book page. Stick it on here. Or a butterfly. Are you feeling better, Raul? You weren't feeling very well. I kind of like it with the dragonfly, but the, the wings are, are very, very flimsy. Maybe if I did one out of cardstock, cardstock painty papers. I don't know if I've got any the cardstock. No, nope, they're all just copy paper. So a dragonfly would be really cute. It just needs to be heavier paper. And of course, what about this? We can just do those. These are page tabs, right? Instead of having them on the page, we could have had them on the corner or sideways. You know, cats look out of 
strange places, right? But I think these are nice just on the page themselves. Goonie birds are too big. Fish. I could always put fish on. Or bows. From work. We had lasagna. We had lasagna for Christmas. Oh, awesome. Something like that could be cute on it, too. And yeah, it's book page, but you know what? I think that would be a really cute corner bookmark. Can you see that? I kind of really like that across the corner. <laughs> it's got to be different. It's got to be different. There we go. I like it. I like it. I'm going to glue this one. <laughs> Like this. My desk space for working is getting smaller. Just putting some glue on this. The line up the bottom of that. The that. down press it down seem to be a, on a bit of a yellow kick yellow paint on the back yellow flower on the front yeah this is uh just book page but i think it'll be okay the dragonfly because it was so um Wings are more delicate than this. That's two. What else? What else have we got? <gasps> Chickens. That could be cute. Sticking out of a book page. Out of a journal except the chickens are thin i will back it with more paper before i use a chicken as well because their heads and tails will get bent see but that would be cute peeking out of your book having a chicken this one needs, definitely needs another bit of paper behind. I will glue it to, I think that's too thin. I will use a piece of copy paper, which is, hmm, <laughs> or even a piece of pink cardstock. That would make it more sturdy. More sturdy. Who taught me to talk? And I would put it this this back on it. Yeah. Okay, that's what we're doing. We're gluing the chicken to the cardstock. Then I can trim it out just a little bit nicer as well. This was um, like that journal page. that I glued the chicken to, so very, very thin. We'll let that dry. 
if I cut it out. Okay. So then, of course, we could put hearts on. I could do, what about an umbrella? An umbrella fits on there quite nicely. And then could draw a little handle down here. Oh, you count down New Year with eating grapes? Oily round mini donuts with raisins. Oh, those sound good. I don't know what we'll be having New Year's Eve. It might just be like a snacky kind of supper with sausage and cheese and baked potatoes or something. I'm going to do this. Green chicken enchiladas. Nice. Wow. I don't blame you for being sick of cooking. I just made lasagna and I'm sick of cooking. Mind you, I made enough that I have meals for Ron and I. And my older daughter came and joined us for supper because she was going to be on her own. So I invited her for supper and um, sent home a couple of meals of lasagna for her. This is really hard cooking for one. So we're going to do a little handle. Not that you're going to see that while it's on the page, but yeah, Brenda, how many people did you have at your table? Little umbrella is cute. Not having much stuff sticking off the top, are we? Okay, we're going to Hunk off this chicken now. I'm not kidding on screen. Sorry, peeps. Nice. Nice. January 6th is Ukrainian Christmas Eve here in Canada. And they serve 12 meatless meal dishes. Okay, we have a chicken. We want it on the pink one. What did I do with the pink one? I just did the umbrella to the pink one. You guys didn't stop me. <gasps> okay. So how long is the Christmas break for the kids there? Yeah, Jean, I did because I just did um, lasagna. And it was just my husband, myself, and my eldest daughter. So it was pretty easy. We're doing corner bookmarks today, Jean.
they're origami folded and then we're decorating till January 9th. Wow. I'm not sure when my kids go back or my grandkids go back to school. See, so from the back, having pink, it's not bad. It's better than just, you know. So he's cute looking out the top of a book. The other one? Oh, the, the Victorian letter one. Trying to find a page where he'll stick out. So if he's in your book, he's going to be like this, sticking out the top of your book. Chicken conspiracy. <laughs> um, these ones. Is this the one that you rewatched? This This crazy convoluted folded thing? This one is much simpler, much simpler. I can quickly show you. You need a square of paper. Let's use this. It's really thin. And I'm going to fold a square. Leftovers are good, Jan. That way you don't have to cook. So you make a square. Right. Just folded kitty corner made a square. It is interesting. I love that thing. So then you open it up and you take the bottom corner and you fold it to the center line. Okay, let's turn this back on. You fold it to the center line. I don't know. Are you guys having difficult seeing with my lights today or is it just me? Then you fold it up like this. And you fold this corner up to the point. And then you fold it in over the center one that you did. You do that on the other side. And you tuck it in. And you get your corner bookmark. No glue, nothing. It's too bright. Ugh. Did you see how I did that, though? No glue. Would you like me to show you again? It's simple. Okay, I can do it again. Grab that book page. So, of course, cut it, you know, get yourself some squares, whatever you've got. Um, Jan did hers out of origami paper, so she doesn't have to decorate. This one's out of scrapbook paper, so it's a little bulky. Like, I mean, they are bulky, but. Hmm. So I've got a square. Square, fold this corner to the center line. Nice, Brenda. 
I've done Christmas for 22 in the past. Okay, so now we folded that to the center. We fold that up. We take this point and fold it to the that point, or corner to the point. And then we take this, now that it's up, and we fold it over this center bar. And it holds it in place. Then we do that on the other side. I turn it upside down because it's just easier for me. It's okay if you've got a gap. You know, you can, you can decorate it, leave it the way it is. Whatever you like to do. And fold that one up and tuck it in the same way. And it's just simple. It's like a little cup thing almost. It's a great way to use up book pages. You know, I'm trying to use up book pages. And I like to have things that I can just grab and go and, and stick in, you know, when I'm doing journal. Just, you know, okay, I'll use this here. And Now, if you don't have scrap paper, <laughs> If you don't have book pages, if you don't have something that you can use to do this, what's the easiest way for doing corner bookmarks? Is you take an envelope and you cut across the corner. This works great if you have lots of uh, junk mail coming in and you're out of ideas for using the envelopes. Make them into the corner, you know, glue the flap back down and you've got corners to use for the bookmarks. So, as I say, you know, <laughs> I'm trying to use up this these book pages and I'm just looking for ideas guys just looking for ideas so anyway I think they're cute they go with a flower We've got a chicken and of course the chickens are going to stick up over the top of the page I've got this uh, here fishy fishy that sticks up over the page. The umbrella does not stick up over the page. And I'm just using stuff from my bits, Kim Bits box, right? So, yeah. And I mean, you could get as elaborate as you like, right? So, let's, this is a little one. I don't have anything. <laughs> I like it, Anne. Thank you. <laughs> That's perfect. Anne just sent me a joke. I like it. So this one, can you leave the back blank? And, or you could decorate it. You know, when you're doing your journal and you're doing the stuff for inside the journal, all these little things, even though you mass make them and you can grab them and go, they take time to make. I like making these little things. I really, really do. So anyway, let's do some embellishment on this one. I have a, I have a vision for this one. I've got these punched out circles. And I want a one inch circle in a purple color. That will work lovely. It will look lovely. So I'm going to use that. I have all this purple lace, so I'm going to put a piece of lace behind it. Um, let's go across here. Uh oh. My scissors are dead. My scissors are dead. You're not cutting with the dart. Too much glue on the blades, I think. Ugh. 
Well, it's a good thing that we make junk journals, right? So I can take this little bit of lace and I'm going to stick it so it's like this up the top and up the side. I'm going to put a bit of glue down. Leave that in the cap because I'm using it right away. So I'm just going to take this little strip and I'm going to kind of just fold it in half so that it looks like I've got two pieces under there. It's just going to be a little bit of fun. A little bit of fun. And I'm going to take this purple flower. I don't know where it came from. Oh, it got punched out of something. Very, very thin paper. Maybe a seed catalog. I'm going to stick that in the middle of the lace. Oh, I, I know that feeling, Brenda, but nice. Nice. Yeah, my kids contribute to dinner now. I don't do it all anymore. Hey, Pam. Welcome, welcome. Hope you had a Merry Christmas. Looked like you had a lovely gathering. Doing corner tuck origami bookmark things. So now what would be really cute is if I had like little purple blingy thing to put on that. So let's go into the bling box. Let's go into the bling box and grab a purple, what about just a purple circle? Because we've got the flower, let's use a circle. Just one of these flat backed bling things. Here we go. Kim wanted the color themes again, right? You bought a cricket today? <gasps> nice. So I'm just going to put some glue down. I'm going to take this blingy thing. Stick it on there. And we're going to put a paper clip, paper clip uh, clothespin on it to hold it so that it stays in place while the glue dries. But that's going to you know, be a cute one. I'll show you that in a minute when that glue is a little bit more set. So how about if I just take a piece of this washi kind of stuff and put it across the front and trim it. And then I could, you know, ideas, anyone? <laughs> I have... Cut out bits. I think he would look lovely peeking out the top of the page, but he's way too big to put on this little, these little things. You know what? That's one thing that I don't do in my bits, guys, is teddy bears. I'm going to have to do a bunch of teddy bears. I can't wait to see what Pam creates with that. With all the sewing you do, Pam, you know, adding a bit of uh, vinyl or whatever, could be a lot of fun for you. Okay, thinking of ideas. Anyone? Anyone got an idea for me? Scrap box. Could be interesting. Could be interesting to have that on there. Oh, excellent. 
What a lucky find. Seriously. I'm not sure I like that. Maybe from the corner and then do something blingy at the bottoms. I don't know. Excellent, even better. So what are the cartridges of? Did you get like a font or anything with it? Little piece of that. Have this roughly lace that I'm going to stick down over the corner. Yeah, I, I get vinyl at the dollar store too, at Dollar Tree. My daughter picked me up a whole bunch of vinyl. But it's the permanent vinyl, so it's not for on clothes. It's more for on car windows or signs, you know. Oh, that glue doesn't want to stick that down. Guess we need more glue and a clothespin. Although, with the permanent vinyl, I actually bought a clear plastic plate. And on the bottom of the plate, where so when you, the food's all gone, you can see it. It's going to say, you've been poison, poisoned. Because I like to keep my family guessing. Let's see if these scissors are bigger. That's very exciting, Pam. Very exciting. Okay, so let's see how this one looks. That's kind of a cute little book corner thing. Lace, some bling, a flower. I think it needs something at the sides. Maybe I need to do um, a couple of paper leaves and stick them out the side. Where's my, I think I want these leaves. Lyrical letters, new arrival. Oh, basic shapes, basic shapes are fun. You could do a lot with basic shapes. See if we could put cluster on. Let's put a cluster on one. A cluster on one. I've got that little monkey. Leaves. <laughs> Looking for some leaves. Here we go. Something like those leaves. Yes, I am part of the stream this year, the New Year's stream. I'm excited. I'm going to be doing something completely different. We're going to have fun playing. I am just going to be doing it. I'm not putting out a list of what you need or anything. Um, it's just to give you guys an idea. Like, do you need any more? I put it, the lineup poster, on my um, Facebook group, Rowell. Okay, 
So, sorry guys, I'm off screen. You guys need to yell at me. I wish there was like a button that you could press, like an awooga horn kind of thing. Like, Kim, you're off screen. Oh, cardstock, yeah. I make a lot of my own stencils on my Cricut. This one, this one is the one I want. Want some leaves? Want some leaves? Oh, I think you're gonna have a blast with it, Pam. I really do. Really, really do. I love mine. I just don't use it very often. Yeah. Cutting stencils is fun. So because it's got the discs, are you still able to use other um, pictures for cutting? Okay. I'm not sure I'm liking this now. Not sure I'm liking it. Because I've got thin paper hanging. You know what? If the leaves tear, it just adds to the character of the journal, right? Don't know what I was thinking when I painted these leaves. They're all facing the same way. It's good that it came with a case. Okay, maybe it's okay. Let's see what it looks like on the page. Okay, so the lace sticks out the top. The top and the side. We've got leaves sticking out the side. Leaf out the top a little bit. Okay. Design Studio. Design Studio. I like using Design Studio. It's uh, it's nice that you can do things other than just with the discs. It is very cool. Can't wait to see what you play with, Pam. I really, really can't. All right. So now this one just has lace at the corner and that. And I don't know what I want to put on the points of the corners. Okay, this one is going to have one of my little uh, ticket cluster things over it. I think that would be cute. Let's just glue it down, Kim. Let's glue it down, then we'll see. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how much that's going to cover. Up to that point. Don't slide. 
No sliding allowed. Oh, needs clothespins. Needs clothespins. I don't know about you guys, but I sure appreciate having my clothespins in my studio so that I can clip things. <laughs> yeah, it's easier to ask forgiveness than permission, right? That's what I did when I bought my car. But that's good. Okay, so what have we got? We've got the little fishy cluster here, fishy fishy. We have the crazy chicken. We have a bright yellow flower. We have an umbrella. We've got this flower with the lace and the bling. This one, I'm not sure what I'm doing on these corner things. Maybe leaves and then a flower in the center, smaller flower. Maybe, I don't know. I don't know. How many more do we have? One, two, four more and, and this one. Excellent, Clint. Excellent. Okay, so what else? What else? What else can we use? You know, I've got so much stuff. I should just be able to go, let's just use this. Let's just use that. See, you could use like a label on it. What else? Um, could paint on it, could draw on it. Let's pull the box back out and see what else I've got. Yeah, a label would be cute. Or even one of these. Maybe. No. Too big, too big, too big. I got glue on my fingers. Oh, see, we could use postage. Right? That could just be cute. Oh, one of these. Definitely one, a feather. A feather would be cute. Right, it would end. I'm going something like one of these. I need something that's doodled on. Maybe something like that. I'm just pulling stuff out now. Stamp. Like a, a stamp stamp would be cute. That could be cute. I'm just flipping through to see what I got. Tickets. Yeah, a ticket. Let's use this yellow ticket here. Labels. I think those are too big. Those are too big. All right. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Uh.
Yeah, we uh, didn't seem to have much luck with resin. Like Ron played with it a little bit. How about something like that? Just like that. Do one that doesn't have anything on the back. You know? Something just like that. Glued down. Let's do it. Let's do it. Am I on screen? I'm just gluing using my white Elmer's glue wall. He posted a picture on Meet Your Creativity Jam. He did some, I think they're pendants, Clint. I, I'm not sure. But they're clear and they've got flowers in them or flora. They're very, very pretty. Very pretty. Just like that. I think that, you know, we don't have to be overly, elab overly elaborate every time. Clint posted and meet your creativity, your channel. I'll approve it when I'm done. It's another one. We've got this little ticket. Oh, look. This one's got lines on the back. They could actually write on it. that little heart will stick up above. I'm just using up what I have. Trying not to make more bits right now. That makes sense. How'd Fiona do over Christmas jam? Did she do well? One of those little ticket things we made. Uh, this one? Oh, that's way big. Guess I could cut it. Kind of like the idea of having a feather across. Maybe it should go this way. I think that'll be okay. Oh, no, I like the dark blue side. Like the dark blue. I think that's going to need a clothespin as well. Oh, yes, definitely needs a clothespin as well. Okay, that's got to sit. Then I've got this faux stitch piece. Can glue it down just like that. It'll stick up both sides, top and bottom. And of course, I could have put something behind it. I love these grab and go things. I hope you guys make some. And I hope you post them on Meet Your Creativity. Let's see how well stuck you are. You're good. That's good. Oh, did you glue down? Did I glue it together? <gasps> no, 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 no. Where's that card? You know. 
Easy ruler. Easy ruler. Oh, it is glued together. There we go. Got it. Got it. Got it. Be careful you don't glue things together. <laughs> All right. So, what I want is a journal that all the pages are the same size without stuff sticking out so that you can see. How these look sticking out of the top of the page. This, is, this, this one should work. This should work for what we need. Oh, excellent. I'm glad she did well. Okay, so we're going to try this one out. Let's take it on the page. That's what it looks like on the page. Just making sure that you can get to the corners. There we go. There. Better. Better, better. Okay. So it's on the page. That's what it looks like when you get to the page. That's what it looks like sticking out of the journal. That's this one. That's what this one looks like on the page. And that's what it looks like sticking out of the journal. Just a little bit of a hint of stuff. Because he lets you know that there's something on that page. I'll try this one. one with the feather and sticking out doesn't show too, too much more so on the side than at the top this little ticket cluster on the page A hidden paper clip. I wonder. We could try it. This one doesn't stick out worth a darn. A little bit at the top. This one won't stick out at all either. But you will be able to see it. When the book is closed, you can see that there's green on the page. Let me think. Hidden paper clip. You know, you probably could. Are you still thinking for on the corners, Anne, or are you thinking for on the sides? Because you could definitely stick a paper clip in there to go over the corners. I don't know how we would do it for the sides, though. That kind of sticks out a little bit on the side. But I like it on the page. This one will stick out. On the page. Close it and I like that one. I really like that one. With the corner at the bottom of the page. Hmm. You want it tighter. Okay, so like this. And you want it to hold a tag in it? Let me just grab a tag or a tag-like thing. <laughs> ah, let's turn around and grab something from, you know what? I got no DC. So you could stick, no, that works fine for sticking things in. Let's try something flatter. Oop, throw that down.
Yeah, I really like the flowers. Oh, a tiny one on an ATC would be fun. I wonder how small we would have to uh, cut the... But it holds it holds this stuff. Let's see if it'll just hold a piece of paper. That's the other thing I wanted to try. Just a piece of paper. I've got paper. I've got paper. That's too long. It's not going to give us a definite... Yes, I like it. That's cardstock. You would think I would have a scrap of paper. There we go. There's a scrap of paper. There's that other one I was looking for. It holds a scrap of, like, a piece of paper. Just fine as well. So, yeah, you can, you can definitely tuck things into it. Here's the chicken. Chicken on the page. Walking off the page. Why did the chicken cross the page? Oh, I like that. Look at that chicken sticking out. If I didn't have this other stuff, you could see his tail too, but I've got lots of stuff sticking out. No, no need to play with a paper clip. And they'll, they'd all hold stuff, right? Oh, yeah. Wouldn't it? I may have to make, um, like, the ghosts, the ghost bookmarks. I might have to make monster ones like that. This one is not done. I don't know where I'm going from here. But there you've got the lace sticking at the corner. Here's the gone fishing. That's on the page. That's with the book closed. You can see it says here, fishy, fishy. And it's, I'm on the wrong. See, it's backwards to me. Stuff sticking out. And the blingy one. So that's it on the page. It's kind of cute. It's growing on me. Close it. Then you get a leaf sticking out at the bottom and the purple lace at the top. All right. All right, all right. So I think that was a nice afternoon's work. Got quite a few done. I can just take these and throw them in the uh, bits bin beside me here except for this one needs to be finished it does i love stuff sticking up like that it's like oh, what's on that page something like this i was thinking we'd almost make a great page tab so you just Leave this bottom part open and this top part up so it's stuck over. Okay, let's see how small we have to make it to fit an ATC. Away with you guys. Um, well, let's take one of the little ones. There's one of the little ones we did. That's a little one. That could go on an ATC, right? But let's try a three inch square. Let's try a three inch square. Or even smaller. I've got this colored notepad here. Let's just take a hunk of green. So the notepad is what? what? What size paper is this? This is just under three. I don't do fractions. And it's just under four. So it's little. 
So I'm thinking that it's going to be about a three inch square. That's what I was looking for to do. It's close enough to a three inch, but I'm happy with it. Okay, let's make one fold to the center. Fold up, point to corner, or corner to point, tuck down, corner to point. Fold it in. Okay, look at that. Look how cute and little that is. That is from a three inch square. Fold it up beautifully. Okay, so you probably, because it's half the size of what you did, right? When it's done. This is about one and a half inches. Yep, this is one and a half inches. So if you did a two inch square, two inch square. Okay, grab a twinchy. Let's just grab a twinchy. Because that's a two inch square. I just need something that isn't cardstock. Something that isn't cardstock. There we go, two inch square. Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, it's painted on that side. Let's do the painted side up. I like that much, as much as I like that fluorescent pink. I guess it just depends on how small your hands are willing to fold for you, right? Oh my, it's going to be wee. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Oh guys, how cute. Put it on an ATC. Okay. My points didn't go as flat as I wanted to, so I'm just pressing them in with a ruler, gently so that I'm not tearing anything. Got to do that so it sits nicer on the page, right to the corner. It's not quite... But still. So a two inch square, I would use a lighter paper, I think. So then, because you've got this on the ATC, you can tuck paper a little, uh, let's tuck this green piece of paper in there. Could also work as a photo corner for sure. If you did four the same and you used it for sticking photos in, that would be lovely. I think we might have to try that. The origami paper worked well. Okay. So if you had a four inch origami square, you could get four corners matching, right? Because you would be cutting it down into two inch squares, right? So it would be quartered. So then it would give you the one inch 
It would work lovely as a photo corner. Oh, yeah. You know, and then I think I would rather put that at the bottom for a gift card. Let me just grab a... I had that card on my desk. That Google Play card. Did you guys see where I put it? I didn't see where I put it. But I've got more behind me. Painted cards. So, yeah, um, because they're a little bit heavier, if it's at, doesn't really matter, right? If it's at the top corner, I guess it would hold it. You know, it's thick enough that you could stick it in. And it does hold, obviously, because I just threw this across the desk and it stayed where it wanted to. What an idea, and That is a lovely idea. Or you could use it at the bottom, right? And just a little tuck in. It's pretty sturdy. Awesome. Absolutely awesome. You know what? They're kind of cute, just plain solid color too. So there we have it. I have this one that I have to finish. I've got this one and this one. I like these little ones. I might just uh, cut a whole bunch of this stuff into... No, that's too heavy, I think. This is a very thin, it's almost like a copy paper, but it feels like construction paper. It's got that tooth to it, if you know what I mean. But I, yeah, seriously, I'm going to take one of those pieces of blue paper, and I'm going to cut it up into twinchies, and I'm going to take it upstairs with me and fold it up this evening into... Uh, <laughs> more of these things because they're fun so it has been two hours lady uh, ladies i have had an absolute blast i really appreciate you being here i hope that this is simple enough that you guys caught on so that you can do them if not let me know and i can go over it again um on friday maybe We'll see. So two hours. Thank you very much for being here. I really appreciate you. I hope you guys had a great Merry Christmas. And I'm just hoping everybody's playing. Thank you all for being here. Thanks for watching in the balcony. Thanks for the replayers. Take care, everybody. Big hugs. Stay safe out there. Bye now.